Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome in my channel for inspiration. Today I will teach you a very special effect that is called crunch effect. And uh, you see this, this is uh, after applying so many layers and effect to this, this is original image. So it's looking very nice, very nice effect. So let's see how to get this type of work in Photoshop CC. So firstly take your image in Photoshop CC. This is my image and I will make a copy uh, by pressing Ctrl J. I use very uh, common shortcut keys for uh, Photoshop tutorial like Ctrl J for uh, copy layer. Mm. Now I will crop this uh, person from the background. Uh, I have so many methods. Uh, firstly I will try this quick selection tool and I will tell out the uh, drawback of this tool especially for this image mm, suppose this is the image that I have select moreover whenever I click uh, the edges are no not sharp I want very sharp edges so my selection is very poor cancel it control D to deselect the selection so I have very uh, I will go to select then we have color range okay this is very nice command and uh, uh, for so many project I will I used uh, this uh, uh, color range selection so it is very easy to uh, select the area that you want and uh, we have two sliders fusiness and uh, localized cluster firstly I will take selection uh, like this I want to this select this grayscale click on there click on there we have this plus button click on plus button then you will add the selection white means this is the white area means this area is selected now uh, later we can uh, invert this selection Now we can adjust the fusiness to take the selection means this is uh, if I increase this fusiness value then it is going to gray instead of black means this area is now uh, is the part of selection uh, so I will adjust this I want pure black so that okay that's nice okay now the this person is selected so I will try this Control Z, Control I to invert the selection. Now press this. Okay. Now the edges are very very sharp. So uh, choose your brush tool, having black and paint over there, so I can hide all the part. Now I will set its hardness to. This. So wherever I find the area that is selection is poor here are some pixel that are not properly cropped okay now control 0 to fit it on screen mm, now I have one more wallpaper that is called a very nice dark clouds uh, these are, are uh, very easily available on the Google this type of wallpapers and this type of uh, person mm, now set it to the length of the photo okay control zero set it to backside okay now I will adjust its tone color tone okay now click multiply go to levels I want level so that I want very nice light reduce its opacity of color fill before and after before and after 
okay now right click on here choose this layer and go to filter then convert to smart object now this is part of smart object now I'll go I will go to filter then uh, next software then we have this color effects I want to maximum detail more contrast this is before after before after click on ok that's very nice now right click on here go to blending options I want uh, rim light here so for this this is very advanced technique to get rim light around the body mm. go to blending option then we have this inner glow inner glow sorry inner inner glow I want inner glow opacity full and see here I will set its blend mode to color doge see the edges around here you will get a very nice rim light here I want uh, something like orange okay now click on okay Now click on OK, right click on here, then you will get a very special option create layer. Now this effect is having a this layer. Now select this layer, make a mask, invert mask means black mask I want. Press Alt on the keyboard then press mask button then you will get a black or otherwise you can fill it with white by using this fill button. Okay. Uh, I will apply white brush control Z so I want uh, hair hair control Z I want uh, something like less opacity so Pasty 76 that's nice very soft brush I want this is before after before after now go to this layer uh, sorry make a new layer and uh, use white brush uh, X to exchange the color keyboard X D to default suppose you have this red color if you want to it black then X for exchange D for default okay now click on brush make uh, a very soft brush so click once on there Control Z. I want full opacity. Make sure you have this chosen uh, a new layer. Uh, now Control T. It's very effective and very easy. Now set it here. Mm, okay. Now make another layer, and even you can set its position like this. That's very effective method. Now make a new layer. Uh, choose this uh, brush tool. Make a very soft brush here. Set its opacity. Uh, sorry, set its opacity to around 80. It's looking nice. Mm, moreover, make a new layer. Then choose black to white or white to black. Now choose this gradient. Uh, from options I will choose reflected now 
shift all sorry shift on the keyboard make a pattern like this now position it by choosing move tool set its opacity like this very nice mm now uh, i will try some more color tone for this before and after now another copy make another copy move it to up and uh, press alt on the keyboard before after very nice now select this layer go to filter then uh, mm, image nomic then portraiture i want full smoothing now select this layer go to filter then uh, sharpen then unsharp mask that's very nice again select this layer this cloud layer go to filter next software color effects before and after this is very high before and after click on okay now merge all these layers by pressing control alt shift e go to filter then uh, next after then color effects then go to this uh, color balance or color processing i will try out i will find out some nice looking uh, shade i think this is better click on okay okay i will do uh, one thing more uh, firstly hide all these layers so firstly i will make a new copy uh, by pressing alt shift i will merge all these layers uh, i will try out uh, these brushes on uh, after applying the light effect on these on this layer firstly go to filter then uh, next software this is uh, totally experimentation Mm okay and this is the effect now click on okay okay now i will try out oh looking nice i start out this that's very nice okay i will delete these two layers um okay now i have this uh, dust wallpaper and this is easily available on the google now click on okay set its plan mode to screen okay screen control t now adjust its position mm, now i will try out color dodge soft light linear dodge so green okay before after before after i have one more like this now set its blend mode to so green uh, something like multiply control t okay now i will 
try to explain more to the screen. Color burn, gun, multiply. For screen, now go to this layer. Uh, now choose level and uh, clip this layer. Now click on OK. Similarly for this layer, select this layer, then uh, choose level, clip it by pressing Alt on the keyboard. Mm. Now select this layer again, go to saturation clip it okay that's nice it's looking very nice okay merge all these layers then go to filter then uh, camera raw I will try out fignating go to this tool sorry this and I will fill light something like this blue shade now go to this and clarity Now go to sharpening. Click on OK. Before, after. So looking very nice. So I hope you have uh, liked this video and keep in touch with me on uh, my channel for our inspiration. Thank you, friends.